Hey everyone and welcome to this INTJ strengths video. I want to talk about some key qualities that INTJs possess that I think are really really good. First, starting with their ability to think critically about the world. The fact that they are able to understand when something isn't working as it should, to understand when something is wrong or right and to be able to analyze critically if something is working as it should. That's one of the things that I noticed the best in INTJs. Beyond this, INTJs are thorough and rigorous people. They do things, uh, they follow projects uh, without uh, missing out on something important. When they do something, they do it thoroughly. Uh, you won't find that they do things half-assed. You'll find that often when they do something, they'll do it very thoroughly. Beyond this, INTJs are in many ways, uh, philosophers and theorists, they see the world from a theoretical distance. They see it from a uh, distance, the logical perspective. They reason about the world and how it looks. They think about what is beneath it. They go into themselves and form insight about how the world works. INTJs are great speculators. They have a good idea of what is likely and what is unlikely. They're good at narrowing down and noticing when something is unlikely and when noticing when something is a likely po option. They're good at determining which possibilities seem uh, the best and narrowing down which ones don't seem likely or probable. INTJs are in many ways um, gifted philosophers and gifted uh, architects, gifted at designing projects, goal-oriented types. They are good pro programmers, good at uh, understanding systems, understanding how things work as a system. They are, they can see uh, how something works, they can form a formula of how the world works. They have a strong sense of a formula for how they make their decisions. They are good at scoring systems and noticing when something is superior to another. INTJs are great at noticing when one opportunity is more advantageous than another according to the formula they follow. They're good at determining which musician sings the best according to what is good music, according to what is uh, <laughs> good execution of music, good singing, uh, good drumming, like the ability to determine good from bad. That's key to an INTJ, I think, and why they also tend to make great judges of uh, skill and of uh, how competent another person is at something. INTJs are great at noticing when somebody is not doing something as they should and understanding what another person's capabilities and resources are. They know when a person um, can be what another person can be trusted to do and what another person can't be trusted to do. They know about they have a good grasp of what a person is able to do and what they won't be able to do. INTJs uh, uh, put very pragmatic expectations on other people and uh, in that sense that's a great quality of a boss or a leader in many ways. INTJs are people that practice independence, that teach independence. They teach other people to think for themselves rather than giving other people the right answer every time they ask a question. And INTJ hates when other people keep coming to them with questions that are simple. They want people to be able to figure out the answers through their own resources and their own mental facilities. INTJs are people that teach other people to teach themselves and that's a very important thing at many times. INTJs are gifted leaders and gifted at uh, in many ways uh, organizing a group or coming up with a plan or a, st a strategy for a group and how to achieve a goal. INTJs are rational types. They are great at deducing if an idea is likely or positive or not. Uh, they have a good grasp of what a useless idea looks like compared to what a valid and applicable ideas look like. And as intuitives, INTJs tend to flood to ideas that have their small flaws that can be ironed out and things that they can be fixed, but that on the average, on the whole, seem to be headed towards a good direction, that seem uh, like they are uh, going towards, uh, that they, the idea can fly. An INTJ wouldn't put themselves into an idea that they didn't think could fly. And often I think INTJs are great for noticing when an idea can fly. INTJs um, are people that 
tend to need time before they do something, but often when they get time, they do it thoroughly. Like I said before, it's uh, that they also because they do know that they do things thoroughly. That also means that they're not people that make false promises. They don't offer more than they can give. They know they have a fairly good grasp of what they can give, what is in their resources, what is in their power, and uh, they know how much they can do, and they won't do more or less than that. They won't put in more energy than they think that they can put into something. INTJs are more than uh, adept at planning out the project and understanding how to something to do, what to do and when to do it. When is it likely, when is it the best time to use a certain information? When is it best to do something? INTJs are good at surprising people often uh, because they have this surface level of how they appear and how they work but then they also have something running underneath it. INTJs always tend to have something, some kind of backup plan or some kind of uh, secret route that they can uh, put on whenever the time arrives. INTJs tend to be people that uh, are actually more affectionate than people give them credit for. In fact, INTJs uh, are people that can be extremely loving and extremely caring and uh, sweet to another person, but often this is a rare thing. It's only given to a certain specific person. It's not given to everyone. INTJs are people that... Uh, people that in many ways uh, have the ability to to deal with the uh, external circumstance. Okay, a problem emerges, an obstacle arrives. INTJs are really good at going, okay, now this problem is here, now I just have to drive a way around it to get there where I need to go. INTJs don't stop and go, oh no, that obstacle is so annoying. Often they go, fine, I'll take another detour and then I'll get to the destination I wanted to. INTJs are people that make the best of what is thrown at them. If something is, if they are thrown shit, they go, fine, I'll deal with this shit. This is better than nothing at all, in a sense. Uh, they tend to accept circumstance, they tend to adjust to what, <laughs> to realistic objective circumstance. That's uh, one of their key gifts, uh, key qualities. Not uh, fantasizing or wishing for something that wasn't possible, but accepting, okay, what are the current resources I have and how can I use them to reach my goal? INTJs are people that um, can show, uh, in many ways, a uh, good ability to... a good ability to count. To see, okay, how can we go there from there? What, how long time will it take? Uh, how much have we done so far? The ability to make an estimation of something, of how so how likely something is, of how much something is expected to grow. INTJs are great with imaginary numbers and the ability to envision mathematical trends and economic trends and financial trends and. Uh, political trends in many ways, trends in systems, trends in how a project is proceeding. Uh, you want them to uh, make and set, real, set the goals of uh, how much you expect your company to grow or how quickly you'll expect your project to go uh, from point A to point B or you'll want them to be the people that can determine if an idea is likely to succeed or not. That's often the ideal. You'll also find that INTJs uh, are, in many ways, uh, innovators. Uh, they are people that uh, are great at putting ideas together, innovations together. If innovations exist, INTJs are uh, good at adding them together and systemizing them and putting them together into a project, into a concept. It's not that INTJs tend to invent new solutions, but often more that INTJ tends to put solutions together into one concrete system. Uh, creating a business, a project, a venture, or a project that, okay, I said that already, that uh, organizes different inventions and innovations and uses them towards a sp certain specific concept or goal. And INTJs are great conceptualizers, people that uh, come up with a concept for this combined project, this combined amount of innovations, this uh, field that you are working with. 
as philosophers, INTJs are in many ways uh, the philosophers of uh, mathematics and of the world and of the finance and political situation in the world. The people that uh, often have a good grasp of uh, likely political developments. I've seen INTJs predict who's going to be in elections. I've seen INTJs uh, philosophize about <laughs> which uh, form of system or utilitarian principle holds the best in practice. Often that's what you will find an INTJ philosopher doing. Now, I hope this video gave you a good grasp of an INTJ's strengths and I hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video.